All righty. So we'll start with the warm up. Again, kind of, um, I do want to work on our upper body a little bit more today. So we'll spend a little bit more time on that. I know most of the workouts we focus on lower body stuff, um, but I do want to work on lower, uh, upper body a little bit more today. So let's make sure we really get a nice warm up on our upper body. So again, let's start with some neck circles. So we'll start. Hopefully you guys got active during the weekend as well. I'm gonna keep that consistency. You'll see results faster. Can I switch directions? Very good. All right, let's grab a hold of the left side of our head with our right arm. And let that stretch out. Just have that arm collapse to your right. Make sure that neck is stretching. All right, switch. So again, so for today's workout, I want to start off um, a little bit more with the dumbbells and resistance bands working on our upper body. I know we have a couple of folks um, in the class that, um, you know, sometimes it's a little bit challenging to get down to the floor, um, you know, maybe some knee issues, ankle issues. So um, we'll, we'll do that today, work on the upper body. And then after we've done a few exercises, we'll um, go ahead and start with the regular sets. And in those regular sets, we might have some repeats of the um, similar upper body movements that we're going to be doing. So, all right, let's bring our shoulders to our ears. Let's collapse them so some shoulder rotations. Bring those shoulders high. A little tight to be on the left side. So again, if you don't have dumbbells, um, even if you have an empty container of milk, um, you know, detergent, let's try to get those today so we could do some upper body movements. All right, let's go in reverse. So some shoulder circles reversed. And remember, we have one less class this week than usual. Yesterday, we had off, so if you didn't work out yesterday, make sure over the weekend you get something in. All right, let's do some arm circles. So again, my goal today is to work out our upper body, which is our arms, our shoulders, our chest, maybe about 50, 60% of the workout. I want to focus on that. It's reverse. You guys continue. I'm just going to check the chat. Great. So, yeah, so if you're requesting the video, just like most of you guys are doing, just put your email address on the chat. All right, let's focus on one arm at a time. So, let's do some close uh, to body windmills. We're going to go forward for these. Like I said, we're working on the upper body, so make sure you're really focusing on these. Nice warm up. Right, reverse. All right, switch arms, front circles, keeping it close to the body.
anyone do any hikes or any fun activities over the weekend you'd like to share? Our reverse. I went to sea and sage and went on a little hike. Oh, nice. Awesome. Not a hike. It was all flat, but it was out in nature. Um, good. Fine. That's good. But when you got out, let's do some arm twists. So just these across our body. Good. How, how long was that hike? Uh, just a couple miles, maybe two awesome. miles. Very cool. I'm glad yeah, you guys get out there and something different. All right, let's do some trunk rotation. So arms up, we're rotating our trunk. So slowly, keep rotating. All right, since we're gonna be working on our shoulders, I know we did this one, um, and we'll probably do it tomorrow on the flexibility and mobility class. Um, but if you guys could grab a pole or a stick um, or a towel so we could do some shoulder abductions. I have an umbrella right here, so. Just something firm, rigid that we could extend our arms to. Like I said, you can use any object. So I have an umbrella here. We're just gonna have it here and then just kind of swing, keeping our arms locked out straight. And then let's just go side to side. Really working on those shoulders, getting rotated. And then let's go a little bit higher on that left. Lie on that right, open up a little bit more. I see a broom. I see a mop. Good. I see some imaginary sticks. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, just keeping those arms. So let's go back and forward now. Okay, so keeping our trunk straight. So we don't want to rotate too much. We're going to keep our hips facing forward. Oh, let's hit the side. Really open up those arms with these. All right now, let's bring out the right arm first in front of us. Get the right arm in front and let's switch to that left. And again, this is one that we'll do tomorrow as well, but we'll spend a little bit more time on it. And then for the next one, I want you to put it behind. Kind of hold it this way and then we're just gonna lift up and down. So the throw is pretty much just laying, falling my back up and down. All right, next, you can put these away. Just to stretch. All right, very good. Let's do some big hula hoops. So, all right, roughly, you got your martial arts skills going. <laughs> awesome. All right, big circles. I don't nearly stretch this much or warm up over the weekends, and I can tell the quality of my workouts are probably the best when I don't do a solid warm up. All right, switch. Directions. Circles. Remember, tomorrow's class is at noon. Mobility and flexibility, so. 
Yes, that it's uh, the one for range of motion, you know, if you're feeling tight, sore, all that stuff, even if you're feeling great, it's, it's a class that's very important. So, all right, very good. All right, we're going to do some hip openers. So, again, just kind of drive that knee up, out, back down. So about six on each side. We'll be doing some squats, maybe some lunges. Just want to make sure that our hips are a little bit, you know, warmed up for this. Last one. Try and switch. One. All right, very good. All right, let's go on over to a wall or a chair. I'm going to go to my garage door. We're going to do some leg swings. So, about 12 swings per leg. So, again, it's not a kick, it's a swing. So, just make sure it's relaxed. You're putting that range of motion. Leg is swinging forward and back. All right, let's switch. All right, good. Now let's face the wall or the chair. And let's swing across our midline. So again, 12. Very good. Just a couple more. Let's do the quad stretch. So again, it's right above the ankle. Let's hold, pull back. If you need to hold on to an object for balance, go ahead and do that. So very good. Let's keep on pulling back. Let's switch. Very good. Let's do the hamstring stretch, okay? So slight bend at the knees. Let's just start shifting our hands downwards. Continue reaching. Let's reach a little more. Okay, let's bring our knees back, Mark and Mark. Let's go 
And the last one, we'll do the deep squat stretch. Let's squat down, drop our glutes below our knees. Torso upright. Hold this for about another 30 seconds. Make sure you're separating your knees with your elbows. Open up that groin a little bit. And I was kind of thinking, I'm not sure if you guys would be up to it, but maybe starting like a little competitive type of like challenge for the class or all the classes. Um, I know not everyone's in the same type of fitness, but um, maybe we could, um, I could make a spreadsheet and see who ends up, um, not who, but maybe how, how much physical activity we could do outside of this class. Um, but yeah, maybe we could do a little challenge and, you know, just to get everyone motivated. Maybe you're feeling behind a little bit and knowing that your classmates, your friends here are working out, maybe it gets you off the couch to work out as well. So I don't know how you guys feel about that or if you guys are okay with just these classes, but I just think it'd be fun. So, all right, let's rise up slowly. All right, very good. Yeah, I know some people that have on the... Apple watches and they have competitive circles that they like challenging each other with. So I just thought maybe the same idea if you didn't work out for something like this. But if you guys are open to it, I can look into it a little bit more. If not, then um, you know you can just forget about it. But um, as far as for today, um, the equipment that um, we're going to be using are the dumbbells. Um, if you don't have dumbbells or resistance bands, um, we'll use the detergent container. Um, if you have two, better. Um, again, something with a handle that's a little bit sturdier and heavy. A chair, a uh, yoga mat to do some of the floor work, and then water, of course. And I think that's, that's about it. So if I think of anything else, I'll let you guys know. So if you guys want to collect those items right now, just take about two minutes, gather those items, and then we'll start. So any questions, um, now is a good time to ask. If not, um, leave me your email address on the chat. So. All right, Carol. Bye. Take it easy. Thank you. See you tomorrow. All right, Carol. Thank you. Uh -huh. Have a good day. Oh, it was your birthday yesterday, Sharice? Oh, congrats. Sunday, Sunday. Valentine's. Oh, okay. I hope you got a ton of... <laughs> oh, yeah. It was fun. Good. I'm glad. All right. Let's see. Let's wait another minute, and then we'll start. So. We got a few more people in here. All right, Mara, I got your message. Great. Yeah, I'll send you the video. Thanks for joining. And all right. Well, like I said, um, I think I was trying to accommodate to a few folks, but um, does, does anyone have issues getting down on the floor? No? OK. Anyone that has their screens off? All right. 
I know Carol has some back issues, but she left us just now. Um, so Carol, when you're watching this video, um, you might want to fast forward a little bit on the on the parts where we get down on the floor just to so you get um, you know not so much rest in between. So um, so again, well I'll go back to what I had written up. So we'll be focusing on upper body as well, but um, we'll just mix it up in there a little bit more instead of just focusing. 30 minutes straight on upper body, we'll give our upper body some rest. So if you guys um, can, let's collect those um, dumbbells that you have, or resistance bands. So now's a good time to get those. And usually, I don't know if you folks have um, watches or bracelets, um, but when we're using resistance bands in our wrist, Sometimes I'll take my watch off just because my watch does kind of influence my range of motion. So just keep that in mind, um, you know, if that's something that you're wearing at the time. So, all right, great. So let's grab those dumbbells. We're gonna start with reverse um, dumbbells, curls first. So what we're gonna do is, again, this is a regular curl here. What we're gonna do now is reverse, okay? so. My wrist is, or my palms are facing my body. So you guys can see this grip here. I'm not doing these here. Fingers are towards me. And we're gonna be doing reverse. So again, swing back and down. We don't wanna go out so much this way and back down. So try to control it that you're just coming straight up towards your chest. Okay. So let's do 12 to 15 of these. And again, if the weight is too light, then control it, make sure it's lower on the way down. Don't let the weight kind of just drop your arms. And stay engaged with them too. So as soon as you start going now, we're using other muscles. Um, so we want to focus just on keeping those dumbbells straight. Just a few more. And relax, okay. That's for reverse dumbbell curls. We're gonna work out our triceps uh, a little bit. Yes. Excuse me. Oh. Sorry, I can barely make out what you're saying, hey. The internet connection is poor. Uh, resistance bands. Okay, so with resistance bands, it'd be the same concept. We just have to adjust, probably step on the bands and just go in reverse. Ooh, cramped up. So just make sure you have the same grip as the dumbbells. Nothing really changes. So, okay. So now we're just going to do the high knee and the butt kickers. So again, just increasing our range of motion a little bit. Simple like, like this. Okay. All right, skip. All right, now we're gonna go into a butt kicker. So heel to opposite glute. Yeah, just working on our cardio a little bit. Easy first step. So at the other resistance bands, it's the same concept, the same grips that we'll be using with the dumbbells. You just have to make sure that you're stepping on the resistance bands enough where you know they're gonna use some resistance. So oh. okay. All right. Okay, thank you. Yep, no problem. I'll try to um do some sets with the resistance bands so you guys could follow along too. Um okay. So now we're gonna do tricep step backs. So if you guys have your dumbbells, go ahead and grab them. So a little bit of cardio and a little bit of tricep work here. So again, we're gonna be doing this with our legs here. Elbows come up and elbows are doing these, okay? My, sh my shoulders aren't rotating, it's just my elbows are extending. All right, ready? We're gonna go for a count of 20, all right? Ready, there you go. One, two, 
Do the single leg bent wall. So you've done this one before. Kind of like an easy squat motion. So again, left foot up against the wall. Right foot's making contact with my left heel. And I'm just going to remove that left foot. And then, so there's that gap there. So I'm just holding on with, to the wall with my hands. And I want to do a single leg squat or leg bent wall. So. Let's do 12 to 15. Try to go as well as you can. All right, very good. And then 15, so if you did 12, we're okay. Right foot on the wall, left foot on my right heel. Remove that right foot, and let's go with the left leg. Ready? Here you go, so 12 to 15. Try to go as low as you can. And try not to lean too much towards the wall. You shouldn't be pushing up against the wall too much. We should almost be just sliding down and catching ourselves when we need a little bit of support. All right. Once you're done with that, take a little rest. All right, we're gonna go back to upper body. So we're gonna do some hand walkouts, okay? We've done this before. So hand walkouts, we're gonna be in this position, crawling towards the front, coming back, and going forward, okay? We're gonna do this for 40 seconds. I'm going to put my watch back on. All right, you guys ready? 40 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Get two more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, time. And now we're going to the shoulders. All right, now let's take it down to the floor and do a little bit of abs. Okay. 
Do you guys have your dumbbell? We could use our dumbbell on this one. I got my floor mat out of my Costco. Kind of nice. So again, so for Russian twist, you could be in this sit up position, you're just rotating back and forth, bring that those elbows behind your back. And if you want a little bit more challenge, elevate those legs in the same motion. Okay. We're gonna go for 40 seconds. We'll start in five, four, three, two, and one. Go. 40 seconds. Try to bring those elbows behind your back. Yeah, keep it going. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, time. Woo, good job. Woo, that was set number one. I right, get some water. Collect yourself. You guys doing good? All right. Okay, so go ahead and grab your dumbbells. We're going to go with shoulder shrugs. If you have a heavier set of dumbbells, then go ahead and grab those because this way you can do much heavier, um, heavier equipment. We're just gonna do shoulder shrugs. So it's almost like our first stretch where we bring our shoulders towards our ears. That's the same motion we want to follow. So bringing those shoulders up, holding them for about two seconds, and then letting them drop slowly. Okay. So let's do ten to twelve of those. Okay. Ready? Okay, go. So up. One, two, three, and relax. And then continue that for nine more repeats. So again, there's going to be some movements that do with light weight. This is one that you could probably do with a little bit heavier than most um, lifts. Just because the weights are close to our body and it's working out a large muscle group. If you have the resistance bands, again, just same motion. If the resistance bands feel too easy, then just grab the bands a little bit lower so you have more resistance on those. All right, let's do two more. Last one. All right. That's one that's a little bit challenging to do if you don't have any equipment. So, um, let me see, checking in for ten minutes. All right, Terry, thank you. All right, very cool. Let me see. Awesome, we have twenty-seven of you right now. All right, now we're gonna do mind planners. Okay. So again, working out the full body right here. We'll do some of these on Thursday. Don't worry, but let's do one set. So let's go forty seconds. So again, variation. You're on your knees. Bring your knees to your chest, or you could be on that push-up position. Bringing those knees to your chest, or you can go faster. Okay, we're gonna go 40 seconds. Ready? Okay, go. Set 
Then one second. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on. All right, very good. Don't burn out those shoulders right now. All right, awesome. Good crowd today. All right, Shona. All right, no worries. Yeah, if you guys are recovering from an injury or, you know, just in general, not feeling too hot, then yeah, we can break. All right, now we're gonna do shoulder front raise. So if you have the resistance bands, you're stepping on them, and we're gonna bring the bands forward, seeing how as our chest or our shoulders. And if you have the dumbbells, then Breathing with free motion. So again, if you have a light weight, you're gonna go slowly on the way down with both at the same time. And if the weight's a little bit on the heavier side, I want you to alternate, okay? So 12 to 15 on each side. You guys ready? All right, okay, there you go. So here, here you control it. Like I said, if the weight is too light, just control it a little bit slower. You guys continue, we're doing 12 to 15 on each arm. All right, Nancy, I got your message. I'll send you the video. All right, keep it going, folks. So again, we wanna bring them to the height of our shoulders. We don't wanna go up over our head, okay? It should just be right in front of your nose as you're bringing it up. All right, let's rest those down. We're gonna do a variation of them right now. Yeah, Yvonne, I'll send you the recording, thank you. All right, this next one, we had our thumbs kind of facing each other. Now we're gonna have the drip of like the hammer curl where our thumbs are facing up, okay? So we're gonna be doing that. So we're not bending at the elbows, we're extending, okay? So it's not a hammer curl, it's the front raise, but it's gonna be straight arm. Okay, so thumbs, you know, are gonna be, pretty much our fingers are facing each other. Ready? Okay, there you go. This puts a slight rotation on our deltoids, our shoulder muscle. It's working out a little bit different parts of that muscle. Again, 10 to 12. All right, very good. All right, once you're ready, go so grab a chair. We're going to do tricep kickbacks. Okay, so tricep kickbacks with the dumbbells. Do you guys remember these? Be almost like the um, step back that we did earlier. So again, elbows back, and we're just extending, okay? But we're really focusing on that pull back. So if that weight is really light, I don't want you to just be doing this motion here, bring it up and control it on the way down, okay? Let's do 12 on each arm. You guys ready? Okay, there you go. So right arm first. That elbow up. Just extending it. That shoulder shouldn't be rotating. Okay. 
And then I'm also positioned in a manner where my back is straight, so I don't want to be curled up or in an unusual position. You want to make sure that you're in a comfortable position. Okay. Elbows back. There you go. With your resistance stance, you should be standing with that foot on the floor. You just pull back. Right, Again, so working on the back, let's head on over to the floor and do some Supermans. We had a lot of folks that requesting videos today. Okay, so for this one, we're going to do the Supermans, the laps. Pull down so again, legs off the ground, chest off the ground. And we're just seeing this motion here. Okay, so pretty much we're gonna be doing this motion when we're laying down, okay? All right, Who's ready? Okay, legs up, superman position. All right, and start with the lat pull downs. So we're gonna do this for 40 seconds. Halfway there. Two more seconds. Step back up. Three, two, one, nine. Very good. All right, since we're in this position right now, let's get our back a little bit. So let's just get on our elbows, stretch out that back. All right, now let's bring our hands closer to our sides. Let's push up. Make sure it's comfortable. I don't want you guys hurting yourselves. Let's drop down and let's get up. All right, let's think about get some water, but a bit of breath, and we'll start. All right, keep over the rest. You can start setting the three right now.
Is ready? One second. Coach ready? Sorry about that. So let's get back on the floor. We're gonna do some chest flies. Okay, so chest fly, we haven't done this before. If you don't have dumbbells, it's gonna be a little challenging to do. Um, so if you don't have the uh, dumbbells, we're gonna kind of go and do push-ups. Okay, so I want you to do 15 to 20 push-ups. If you do have the dumbbells, the most thing you're going to go for is to stay here. It's going to be this motion where I'm bringing, I'm doing a fly, I'm not doing a press. So this is a press here, but I want to go for a fly okay, for this motion here. Okay, ready? We're going to do 12 to 15. Ready? Okay, go. If the weight is too light, try to hold it up top for about two seconds with the squeeze before it comes back down. All right, good. Let's press. So the next one, I do want you guys to do a press. So if you're doing push-ups, um, instead of doing the push-ups a little bit wider, bring your arms a little bit closer. So we're going to do that um, with the dumbbells right now. So we're going to do a press, okay? Right now, like I said, we did a fly. Now a press is going to be straight up like a bench press. Ready? You're going to do 12 to 15 again. Okay, go. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Once you're done, make sure you recover, get some water. All right. So those are two big chest movements that you can do as well. Can anyone have any trouble with those? Rosalie, what, what oh, dumbbells do you have? How, how heavy are they? Oh, very light. <laughs> yeah, there's like they're each like three, three, three pounds. Okay. All right. Yeah. So if if this feels way too light, you guys on um, with the light dumbbells, you might be better off with push-ups. Yeah. So it's gonna your body weight's gonna give you a little bit more resistance. But as you get heavier equipment, um, you know, it can go a little bit more. So if that felt too easy, um, you know, we can do something else. All right. Now we're gonna do the back row. So. Same position as we're doing the tricep kickbacks, but now we're just going to be bringing the weight up towards our back and can't control it. So again, this is requiring our back, not our triceps, so we should be able to carry more weight. So if you have a heavier dumbbell, you can go ahead and grab that. Okay, so again, 12 to 15. So I'm just leaning forward, 
Continue on the way down. And this far back. If you have the resistance bands, you can be stepping on them with your foot, or you could do the door attachment. And you can always do the row motion if you have the attachment about the same height as your chest. All right, good, let's switch. Very good. Third back, third chest. Now we're going to go ahead. So, this is a big dumbbell um, set, if you guys haven't noticed. So, now we're going to do two different set of dumbbell curls. So, we're going to do the regular ones, okay? So, if you guys could grab those dumbbells. Come here. So, I have my palms facing the screen. So we're gonna go, these are pretty heavy. So I'm gonna go one at a time. Again, if they're a little bit lighter, then do a little bit more. And if they're too light, it shouldn't just be this motion here, it shouldn't be fast, make sure you're controlling it. So if they're on the easier side, lighter side, go for 15, but control it on the way down. Jab with me. Then on the heavier side, then on your way up, make sure you get that all the way up. Make sure you extend all the way down too, okay? You don't want to stop right here halfway. So you want to make sure you go all the way down. Maybe the rest was hard. All right, now we're going to do the hammer curls. So now we're going to hold on to the dumbbells like a hammer grip. So all right, Nancy, no worries. All right. Yeah, I think Tuesday's a busy day for most, but I'm glad you guys are joining me. Thank you. Okay, so now we're going to do the hammer curl. So again, now we're going to come up and alternate. This one, like I said, it does engage your tricep as well. Um, so it, it should feel a little bit easier because more muscles are being activated. That means you're getting a little bit more help. I think my internet's being a little laggy right now. But yes, we continue. Let's do a couple more. All right. There you go. Whew. All right, and then just to recover the arms a little bit, we're going to go on the floor and do reverse crunches. Or actually, we could do penguins. I don't know if we've done penguins here before, but penguins are pretty much kind of like that sit-up position, and I'm just gonna reach down to my ankles, okay? So I'm trying not to move my legs too much. It's just reaching. That's working on our obliques. All right, ready? 40 seconds, and go. 
And if you don't feel it so much, then you want to reach past your heels towards your toes. Your hips shouldn't be moving too much off the ground. Halfway there. Ten more seconds. You don't feel it so much, you should be reaching a little bit further. Five, four, three, two, one, time. My arms are dead. How are your arms feeling, Debbie? Good? They're feeling good? Okay. They feel okay. Okay, good. All right. Good. Done with three sets. Are you good? A little bit of rest. Water. All right. All right. All right. We're gonna work on our shoulders a little bit. So we're gonna do a shoulder press for this one. So get the head and grab your. I'd say your heavier um, dumbbells that you have. So then for this one, we're gonna do a dumbbell press or shoulder press. Sorry. So I'm going to keep dumbbells here, not completely aligned with my shoulders, but a little bit angled. So this would be kind of like 90 degrees, 45, 180. So, or zero, 45, 90. So I want to be at 45 for these, okay? Ready? So 12 to 15. Okay, there you go. So um, again, if the weight's too light, then control it on the way down. Make sure your back is resting on the chair. So your back is straight. You don't want to have an arch on that back while we're doing these. So again, 12 to 15. You're breathing. I'm breathing out on the way down. Inhale. And two more. Oh, so there's kind of time. All right. Okay. All right. Let's do it in reverse. Oh, why? So you can't even understand what I'm writing. Okay. We're still not done with those dumbbells. Okay. We're going to do dumbbell curls, um, dumbbell cross curls. So for that, we're going to bring the dumbbell to our opposite chest. Okay. So just like the curl, instead of bringing them up, we're bringing this arm. Cross. So let's do 15 of these. Ready? Okay, 
rest of it, control it. So this would be one at a time. Uh, 20. Very, all right, very good. Here we did four different dumbbell curls. We did reverse, hammer, regular, and then these here. So we'll do some um, shoulder side raises half there. So all right, and then this one is going to be the seated reverse fly. So again, if you guys remember, we did the fly on the floor, so fly would be this motion here. So reverse fly would be starting here and going back, okay? So we, we're going to do this one, is we're going to be leaning forward. We're going to have the dumbbells underneath our legs, hold them, and then bring them back this way. Hold it, okay? So if you have, the resistance bands, this is gonna be one where you could hold, you could be standing on them. And then you have the resistance bands here, you're bent over and you're pulling them as well, okay? That's how you would do with the bands. It's ready. So that's bent over and then reverse fly. So again, like squeezing a peanut in the center of your back. Ready, okay, go. If the weight's really light, then hold it up top for a few seconds before you come back down. And you want for our triceps? This is going to be the overhead tricep extension. So again, with the dumbbell or resistance bands, resistance bands, you'd have it sitting down behind you and we're going to be extending here. The dumbbell same action. So make sure you don't hit your head. We're just extending. Okay. Controlling the weight down. Make sure that weight, please make sure it doesn't hit the back of your, the top of your back, your neck. Really, really be careful with these. Make sure you have a good grip on that dumbbell. We're gonna do some lunges. So if you, if you have a little rag, you know, something where we could do sliding lunges, so we're gonna do these here. Let's work on our legs slightly. So you have that small rag. If you have carpet, maybe a plastic bag. All right, you guys ready? So we're gonna squat down. 
Sorry, it's a little loud right now. We're gonna do 12 on each side, on each side. Ready? So squat down and again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine, ten, eleven. You guys ready? Other leg. Ready? Squat down. Begin. Twelve. One. Two. Three. chest squeeze. So we did these last time. So again, keeping our palms right in front of us. We're going to be engaging on our chest by just squeezing on our hands, okay? So we're going to do a hold. We're going to do 10 of them for a hold about three to five seconds, okay? We'll start with the lower end and then increase our time as we go. All right, ready? Okay, squeeze. One, two, three, relax. All right, ready? Squeeze. One, two, three, four. Relax. We'll get to the count of 10. All right, ready? Squeeze. One, two, three, four, five. Good. I tend to press more on my wrists with each other. That's where I feel it more than pressing on my fingers. Ready? There you go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, relax. Remember, elbows up, really squeeze in each set. Ready? Okay, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, good. Let's get up to 10. Ready? Okay, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, two more. Really feel that kind of getting a little sore right now. That center um, chest. Ready? Okay, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, one more, and we're done with those. All right, you guys ready? Okay, last one. Go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good. Press, press. We're gonna do some push-ups right now. Okay. So again, we're mainly as we as the class is ending, uh, we'll just finish the upper body movements that we had. We'll save the leg ones for Thursday. Um, like I said, we really don't work out the body enough in this class um, as much as I, I want to. But um, yeah, we'll kind of make it today. So every now and then we'll switch over. All right, so let's do 12 and 15 push-ups. 
So if you feel like you need a little bit more development on your triceps, then I want you to have the close grip push-ups, so arms right next to your body. And if you feel like your biceps and your chest are a little bit weaker, then I want you to go a little bit wider, okay? So you guys pick which one you want to do. Okay, 12 to 15, ready? Okay, go. Very good. All right. You guys can hang out in that position. We're going to do shoulder taps right now. We have these, we have dips. And I think I want to do a couple of things for our calves. And then we'll be done. So, not too bad. I think overall, I don't think that was exactly a red hat grade, but we'll see how our arms feel tomorrow. So sometimes we don't realize there's a red hat day until the day after. All right, so now we're going to do shoulder taps. So we're going to do push up position, but now we're going to alternate by tapping our shoulders, okay? We're going to do that for 40 seconds. Ready? Up, okay, go. Working on our core, our back, our shoulders. Halfway there. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Yeah. All right, last one for our arms. We're going to do dips. Oh, no, we didn't do side raises. We'll do side raises after dips. I that in there. Can I ask you something about those dips? Yeah, yes. So is it supposed to be only your arms or, or partially your legs, but you or arms? You want it totally to be your arms? Right, so it should all be your your arms seeing the work. So your arms are your legs are just supporting your body. So it should just be, it's not like you're lifting with your legs, it's you're just using your, your triceps for extending. So okay. it should be this movement pretty much that we're doing here. Um, so you don't depend on your arms. I'm sorry? I'm saying so you're cheating if you're using your legs. <laughs> yeah, essentially. So yeah, so you want to be using your arms. So that's why it's a little bit more challenging when you have your legs away from you because you really can't use them. And then your center of gravity changes a little bit. So here, we don't want to be lifting with our hips. We want to be lifting with our arms. Yeah, sorry, I never explained that. I never thought about it, but yeah. So, all right, you guys ready? So 12 to 15, ready? Okay, go. And again, if these are too easy, then extend your arms, I mean, your legs. Yeah, that burns. All right, very good. And skip, please skip over the shoulder side raises. They're on my lift. Okay. Last one for the dumbbells. Okay, I promise you. So go ahead and grab those. Thank you. 
All right, so shoulder side raises. So again, see how does your shoulders and control it on the way down. Right now, my fingers as I'm jerking the dumbbells, my fingers should be facing downwards. And when I bring them to my body, my fingers should be kind of making contact with my hips. Just a little more. One. And just kind of relax. Now what I want you to do, same motion, but now I kind of want those palms facing the screen and same movement, okay? So now my thumb should be facing up towards the sky as I'm going up. And my palms are facing towards you, towards the screen. I feel this on your forearms a little bit more. A little bit more challenging. Again, 12, 10 to 12. All right, good. All right, we're done with those. Yeah, so it definitely helps if you have the, the dumbbells. I think. If the resistance bands, it does help, but again, you guys are pretty much the only judge of how much you're lifting. And that's going to be based on where you're stepping on your bands and where you're gripping. So just keep that in mind. So like I said, if you find cheap dumbbells, it might be, uh, you know, kind of a nice investment to work on. Um, and then, let's see. Let's do some calf raises. Okay, so calf raises, so heel raises. Kind of lift those heels off the ground. Let them drop. If you're gonna hold on to something, I want to hold for about two seconds up top and then drop. So one, two, drop. And about 12 to 15 of these. Let me get on those toes. One. Last one. Very good. Okay. All right. Let's just do kind of to cool down. Let's do some hip opener swings. So if you guys remember those, you're gonna be dragging that knee up and then just hip opening. We'll for sure do these tomorrow for the flexibility and mobility class. So for that one, I think we found our routine. And then remember for Thursday's class, if you guys could write down a couple cardio movements so you can incorporate since I feel a little bit more active on that one. All right, that's it. Like I said, each set is five different exercises. And the first one, of course, can be mountain climbers, burpees, or some other type of um, full body movement. And you folks pick the next two cardio exercises and then I'll pick the two core ones. Or if you guys have a core one, um, we can always see that too. So that's for Thursday. So tomorrow at noon, mobility and flexibility. Stretch now. And let's do two more. Good. 
All right, very good. Just grab your water. Let's head on over to the other one. So now I'm gonna just feet set position, bring that left heel in, right leg back. What did you think of Safina? Was it a red hat day or was it wasn't? Yeah, definitely. Excuse me? Was it red hat or no? Yes. Yes. That's fine. I need a part more too. Yeah. I think since typically it's the second workout of the day, I mean, of the week that we do, we usually go a little bit harder. But since it was the first this week, I think, I don't know if it's just me, but maybe, you know, just need a little extra time to switch. To kind of it was a visor day. Visor days. Oh, yeah, days. red hat. <laughs> What do advisor your day be? <laughs> Easy. <coughs> Let's do the Hollywood stretch. But again, let's bring that leg across. Bring that arm over. Push with that elbow. Do that stretch and that performance. Yeah, I think just the upper body, it's good to do every once in a while, but I think as far as like an overall like heavy tiring day, I think we need to incorporate more leg stuff to switch. So lesson learned. Let's bring those heels in. I mean, figure four, I'm sorry. So since we did work out our upper body, let's bring that hind arm over and reach. Let's switch legs. All right, Karina, thank you. And then let's bring that over. Don't mind my mixed match socks. <laughs> socks that I've lost, so. Same brand. All right, let's bring both of our heels in. Push down on our, on our arms, I mean, on our legs with our elbows. Like I said, if you guys have time um, after this class, you can always go for a short walk. Um, you know, just kind of like cool it down your body. Make sure you guys eat something. Um, yeah, enjoy the rest of the day. So, it's only 1030, it's pretty early. All right, let's crisscross and then forward. You can reach if you can. Uh, 
Bring that leg back. Lean back. Stretch that quad. Hey, Ella. Leg back. All right. You folks got a bunch of chocolates this weekend? No? And the roses? No, because you said I have to do exercise. <laughs> you don't need chocolates, you need exercise. Yes. <laughs> <That's what you're laughs> I was thinking with you every time that I see it. Uh, no. no. Switch. <laughs> Right. And the last one we've done, we'll do tomorrow with flexibility and mobility class, but we're just going to get on our back, tuck in our chest towards, I mean, our legs through your chest and just hold. And then we're just going to hold here for about 30 seconds, stretch out our back a little bit. And before we get the dig, we are going. Hopefully no one just goes straight back to bed after this. Think these are active, remain, you know, the healthy lifestyle. Let's relax. And then let's just reach with our arms, reach with our legs, just extend. Have that weird feeling when you jump in the pool and you have water go up your nose. I don't know how I felt that just now, but I did. All right, and relax. Good. All right. Thank you again for joining in this morning. Um, again, um, lesson learned. I think we got to incorporate leg stuff too to make it a red hat day. Um, we got to, I think, add a little bit of more cardio, but I think our upper body might be a little bit sore. Um, so, yeah, so if you guys um, do need the video workout, just make sure you leave me your email address on the chat, um, and that'd be great. So, any questions before we head out? All right. I'm sorry? Thank you, bye. Uh, of course. All right, you guys have a good day. Great class. I love it. Bye. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Debbie and See you bye, later. Bye-bye. Right, bye, bye, Lydia, Debbie, Stephanie. Bye. Bye, Alex. Anna.